Welcome to Confirmation at Our Lady of Grace. My name is Jake Teichen. I'll be coordinating the confirmation preparation process this year. First of all, thank you. We know that families are busy, students are maybe even busier, and so being a part of this and making faith a priority is something we are grateful for. Confirmation is one of the sacraments of initiation. It completes your baptism. So this process that you started when you were a little kid comes to the fully initiated Catholic at the conclusion of confirmation. You receive special strength in the Holy Spirit. Sometimes there's a misconception that you're the one who's uh, choosing to confirm God in your life, but in fact, confirmation is God confirming you and giving you His Spirit and grace. And so we're excited for you to be a part of this, to have a desire to be confirmed, and to come to it and receive the sacramental graces. We are so excited to get started on this path to grace. We have a few requirements for confirmation and maybe some things you're not familiar with, so this video is going to give you a rundown of what you need to do to make confirmation happen this year at Our Lady of Grace. The first thing you got to do is sign up. When you register for Life Teen Religious Education, then you can also register for confirmation. So visit our website, ologn.org, to sign up for Life Teen. And when you do, make sure you check the box that says you intend to receive confirmation this year. That'll take you to another page to fill out a little bit more info. It's important to be very thorough on this information. We put it in the parish records and it's something we're going to have to get at some point. It makes the whole process easier if you just do it right from the get-go. someone who was not baptized at Our Lady of Grace, we're going to need a copy of your baptismal certificate. Again, it's for those parish records. All that takes is a message to the parish where you were baptized and they'll know what to do and they'll send it our way. If you need any help with that, just contact our office. One of the most important parts about confirmation at Our Lady of Grace is the Spirit and Fire Retreat. This retreat is happening September 28th through the 30th. It's gonna be terrific. A lot of our students have never done a retreat before. They've never taken a weekend just for them and their faith life. This is gonna change that. Spirit and Fire is hosted here at the parish and it's a mandatory part of confirmation because it's very powerful and it's where a lot of our students first make the connection to their parish, to their faith, and to the sacrament being really important in their lives. There's even a component for parents, so parents be sure that the Sunday of that, September 30th, you've got that marked in your calendar. We'd prefer that both parents come, but if just one of you can be present, there's some activities we need you to be a part of to help kickstart this process of confirmation. At the end of Spirit and Fire, you'll also get to meet your mentor. Each confirmation candidate will receive an assigned mentor. This is an adult from our parish who's supposed to be a role model in faith for them. So your student plus maybe two or three others will be in a group with this mentor and you'll meet on six occasions to talk through what it means to be a confirmed Catholic in our church. These sessions range on everything from what is confirmation to also just where are you going in life and what are your hopes and where do you think your faith plays into that? There'll be largely discussion-based sessions that'll happen either at the Donovan Center or some other public place. The best part about these is you and your mentor will schedule those sessions together. So they'll find times that'll work for you and the other students in the group and gather together at those times. The last of those sessions, the sixth one, is actually gonna take place following the sacrament. So between the Spirit and Fire retreat and confirmation itself, you'll have five sessions, but save a little time for that one after confirmation happens. The thing we also need you to be doing during this time of confirmation preparation is going to Mass. The Eucharist is our source and summit in the Catholic faith, and it's something that's very important that our students be a part of, and you as well. If you're not sure of when to come, our 530 Life Teen Mass is designed just for young people. Also during the year, we're gonna ask each confirmation candidate to come meet with us in the youth ministry office just for a real quick check-in. We're talking about 15 minutes in the fall and another 15 minutes in the spring, just to make sure you're on track, forms are turned in, and you know what's going on. Parents are welcome to come to this, but we just require that students sign up for a time, and we'll send that your way when the time comes to sign up for a time that can work in your schedule. One of the biggest changes to confirmation this year is the parish commitment. So one of the aspects of confirmation that's very important is that our students have a desire to be Catholic. They have a desire to be confirmed by God in this faith. And as a part of demonstrating that desire, we're looking for all our students to get involved in their faith community in our parish. 
Now we try to give you a lot of different options for this so that something will work based on your schedule. So there are a few things I wanna run through with you and let you know what's available. One way to demonstrate a parish commitment is by coming to Life Teen, our high school youth ministry that meets on Sunday evenings, starting with 5.30 Life Teen Mass and going until 8.30. This is part of the parish that's designed just for high school students and would make a lot of sense to be a part of. We work really hard at Life Teen and make sure it's another chance for students to grow in faith. That's a way to demonstrate a parish commitment. Another way too is to uh, choose the retreats option. So you could demonstrate a parish commitment. Maybe if you're really busy on Sunday evenings, you could choose in addition to Spirit and Fire, two other retreats through the year to go on with us. Again, a retreat is a chance to get away from the busyness of life and spend time just working on your faith. This, this starts with our Spirit and Fire retreat, but could be something like our devoted event for high school students, and our spring retreat would be another great thing to go to in March this year. You can come to two other retreats, and if you go to a Catholic school, one of those can be at your school as well. Two other retreats during the year in addition to Spirit and Fire, we think that would also demonstrate a commitment to what's going on in your faith community. Another parish commitment is to do something in a liturgical ministry. Students have chosen to be altar servers or readers, or maybe they're part of the Knights of the Holy Temple or they're in our Crooked Halo music ministry. Uh, if you do this, you're gonna have to make sure you meet with the leader of that music group or that liturgical ministry and establish with them what's expected of you, but it'd be a great way to get involved in the Mass and another way to demonstrate parish commitment. We have dozens of parish ministries outside of youth ministry here as well. So a young person, if they wanted to join uh, the monthly graced meals that takes food to those in need in our county, uh, the group that we have students who are cadet catechists for elementary religious education, we have students who've been interested in joining our Justice and Charity Council or even our Finance Any Council. Any of these parish ministries are ways for you to demonstrate commitment to the parish. Now, if you're going to do one of these ministries, there is a parish commitment form we need you to bring to the leader of that ministry right at the start. We want you to have a conversation and we want you to be a regular contributor. Now, you and that parish leader can determine exactly what that means. Once you decide, write it down, put it on the form, get their signature and bring it back to us so that we know what's going on and we can make sure that everything is okay and that you're on track for confirmation this year. The last option for a parish commitment is maybe something we didn't think of. Perhaps you have a project in mind or there's another ministry you wanna get started or there's something different in our faith community that you feel really strongly about please let us know about it. Just give us enough time to set that up. Our parish commitment forms are due October 15th. So if you're gonna try something a little different, we really need you to come in before then so that you can let us know what's going on. Everybody needs to turn in a parish commitment form. Those who are not doing Life Teen or the retreats have a little bit more information. Again, those forms are due to the youth ministry office on October 15th. Remember, when making a parish commitment, you only have to choose one of the options that we talked about. We're looking for you to demonstrate a desire to be confirmed in our parish and our faith community. And so as a part of that, we need you to do something to help show that. And we think it'll be a really good experience as well. But you don't have to do tons of things. Just pick one thing that you're really interested in. Focus on that and make a commitment. Be a part of it for a year and see what being an invested member of our parish is like. One thing you'll also do in the confirmation process is to choose a sponsor and a saint name. Now a sponsor is somebody who's gonna be by your side and lead you through the preparation of this process. Ideally, this is somebody that you're close with that's also a, a mentor in faith for you. The only regulation on this is that a sponsor cannot be a student's parent. So this could be an older sibling, an aunt or an uncle, could be a friend, a mentor, a teacher, anybody who you can have an honest conversation with about faith and that is somebody that inspires a young person to be faithful. Also a confirmation sponsor has to be a practicing Catholic in good standing at their church. If they're not a member of Our Lady of Grace, they need to have a letter of good standing sent from whatever parish they are at. That's pretty standard in parishes. So if that confirmation sponsor goes to their parish office and asks for a letter of good standing to be sent to Our Lady of Grace, they should know what they're talking about. Also, you'll choose a saint name as a part of the confirmation process. This saint becomes your patron and you have this name as a part of connecting to this holy person in our faith. The saints are wondrous gifts for us and they give us multitudes of paths to holiness. And so we encourage students to think 
very carefully about what saint they're going to choose. You don't have to do it all on your own. Some of our process at Spirit and Fire and during the mentor meetings is going to be to, to decide that. If your sponsor needs a certification from another parish and when you choose your saint name, we need all of that turned in by March 15th. So parish commitment forms due October 15th. Saint and sponsor forms due March 15th. The last thing we need from you is to come to confirmation itself. This year confirmation is going to be on April 30th, 2019 at 5.30 p.m. in the church. On April 28th, there'll also be a rehearsal for confirmation, just so everybody knows exactly what's happening. So mark down your calendars, April 30th for confirmation, 5.30 p.m. and April 28th, following the 5.30 mass for confirmation rehearsal. Don't forget there's a reception afterwards, there's free food. We know there'll be some questions this year, but we're here for you. You can contact confirmation at ologn.org, or you can stop by the Donovan Center and get a hold of me anytime you need. We're here for you to be a part of this sacrament. We want to prepare you well. On April 30th, when the bishop stands in our parish, and you all stand to, to greet him, I'm going to explain to him that you all have been prepared and are ready to be confirmed by God. Thanks again for being part of Confirmation this year. Can't wait to get started. See you at Spirit and Fire.